Hey everyone out in YouTube land, well it is fall weather, which means overcast skies are kind of dull, the sun's not out, but I have a really cool product to show you from Freewell. Check this out. Now, if it was a super bright fall sunny day, then you'd want to use these Freewell ND variable filters because on a day where the sun is just a beaming, they're pretty cool for what you can do with them. Now, the great thing about the professional Freewell filters is they come with this magnetic lens cap right here, which is uh, pretty sweet. On the very top of the lens, you can see there's an indication here. That's the filter is off. And then over here we have the f-stops, two, three, four, and so on. And you basically just turn it to the appropriate f-stop for your image that you're trying to capture. All right, so here's a good example. Throw some leaves out front. Watch this, I'm gonna spin the filter. I have it in manual mode. So as I spin this, it will actually get darker. So now I'm up to five f-stops four f-stops, three f-stops, two f-stops, and it is off. And now a quick Captain Drone Photography 101 episode. Here we go. So over here, I have something I want to take a picture of or film. In this case, we're gonna film it. Now it's very hard with a camera to film something if you wanna get depth of field if you're filming outdoors because the sun is so bright and if you open the aperture on the camera really wide, well, guess what happens? the image is just blown out. So that's why I use ND filters. So what I have down here is our subject. Say that's a person right there. We're filming, they're talking, we're doing an interview and we wanna blur out the background. The only way we can blur out the background if we open the aperture really wide is to use an ND filter. So I'm gonna use the little ND variable filter which is sitting over there and I'm gonna film everything with this camera up here. So here's my problem. Those four tools are in focus. So is the Captain Drone and the Captain Drone in the back. And the camera we're gonna be filming with to do the interview is this one down here. We just have to pretend these four tools are people. So let's go take a look at our little camera down here. So this little camera here is recording on manual mode because most of us who are in the photography business, we either record on aperture priority, which is this one, or we record on M, which is manual mode so that we control the aperture, the ISO, everything, the shutter speed. Here we have the Freewell ND variable filter and I've set it at three right there, three stops of light. I'm just gonna put this piece of glass right in front of my little camera that's trying to film the tools and watch what happens. All right, for this example, I'm using my Canon EOS M6 Mark II camera. And if we go all the way down here to the bottom, you can see I have the aperture wide open at F2. That's as wide as I can get the aperture on this camera with the lens that's on it. And I'm shooting at ISO 400. These are normal settings you would shoot outside. There we go, it's recording away. And look at that image, it is terrible. How do we fix it? Well, let me show you. So with my trusty little variable ND piece of glass here set at three stops of light, watch what happens. I'm gonna put it right in front. Watch what happens. Whoa, -ho, check that out. Everything looks good. I've got the Captain Drone mug and the Captain Drone sign out of focus. And I have my four little tools all in focus and looking great. And if I take it away, zoop, we're back to overexposed. This is the part of the video where I'm gonna show you the high quality variable ND filters from Freewell. Check this out. These things are pretty awesome and this box weighs a lot. Opening the box, what do we see? We see, hey, Freewell. In this package, you'll get all sorts of documentation, stickers, cleaning cloth. Well, here, let me show you real quick. There you go. There's everything in this little box. Next, we have the first of two filters. Take this out and you can see there's some plastic on the magnetic hard covered plastic box. So I'll take that off. This is just protection so that you don't scratch your piece of plastic here. I don't care, scratch that up because as long as you don't scratch the lens, that's great. This is a nice case to carry everything in because it's magnetic. This 77 millimeter filter is the six to nine stops of light filter. So if you're wondering how it feels in the hand, I will tell you it feels massively high quality. I can feel the cold metal going around, that's glass in the center. And Freewell always does a nice touch when they send me something. Check this out. On this side, it says Freewell. And to personalize it, on this side, it says Captain Drone. Still in the box, you get another filter. Let's take that one out. Plastic off. This filter is a 77 millimeter filter because my lens is quite massive on my pro camera down here. See that? It's a very big lens. Now the final item in the box would be this aluminum lens cover. So let me show you really quick. Take off my lens hood, screw on the filter and the Freewell magnetic lens cover is right here. And we're all set and off to the races. For this event, I am wearing my Freewell drone t-shirt that Freewell sent me a long time ago. All right, how about we get to the filters? So what did you think of these filters? I thought they were pretty good. I had no complaints whatsoever. Freewell says if you compare these filters to filters that cost four times as much, you should see no difference. I will say in the hand, the build quality and everything else about them, 
seems really good. I do not know if these will last you 10 years, just like that's the only question anybody has about filters, but Freewell does have a lifetime warranty, so it doesn't matter because if they start to, if the coating starts to go weird or something strange happens to them, just contact Freewell and say, hey, I have a lifetime warranty. All right, I'm gonna put links below to where you can find these variable ND filters. Just check out the lens for your camera. And I know all of you have professional cameras because if you bought a thousand dollar drone, why the heck would you have a thousand dollar drone and a little tiny cell phone to take pictures? You must be a photographer, so you must have a professional camera and you probably do need nice little filters for it. All right, thanks for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I will catch you in another video with more reviews. Take care.